Good evening, people. Now it's time to really get going with my crane project, which I need to finish before I can start on my lathe. So here you can see one of the finished pieces that I made. And now I'm gonna make another one. Uh, basically, it's a 90 millimeter in diameter tube with, I think it's a 5 millimeter wall thickness. And I have milled uh, a 100 millimeter piece out of here uh, with a 90 degree angle in here. And the depth is exactly 45 millimeters, which is half of the 90 millimeters. Uh, and it has holes, 25 millimeter holes going through it almost all the way to the other end. And uh, the distance between the holes is 50 millimeters or 2 inches. And of course, um, I noticed one big disadvantage with my new camera, and it is that I don't always carry it in my pocket as I do my mobile phone, which I'm using now. So in other words, I forgot my new camera at home, and again, I'm using my old camera. Uh, but I have it duct taped on my tripod, so I will try to get as good quality picture as I can. So, let's start with this project. And <coughs> what I'm gonna do first is to mill this slot in here. Um, and the last time I did it by milling, um, but now I'm gonna have a little more delicate approach to it. So I am using my bandsaw to make this cut right here. I'm gonna saw it halfway through. And then I have this, this saw cutter, slitting saw I think it's called, that I'm gonna use to cut these, these cuts. And none of this work for these pipes are 100% accurate. So using a bandsaw is just fine. Okay, let's get going. Okay, the piece is set up and I have 100 millimeters to take off. And I guess this time I'm just gonna eyeball uh, the halfway through, because it's not accurate at all. Later you will see what I'm gonna do with this lot. Okay, let's do some sewing. I went just a little bit below center line, but uh, I'm gonna make uh, this cut on the mill precisely. And if there's a little bit of a cut left, I will fill it in with welding. And this is now I'm gonna attach uh, the tube to the milling machine table. I have two these, whatever they were supposed to be, but now they serve as V-blocks for me. Uh, and I have some long bolts um, that I use some simple clamps with. Clamps like this one. They go right here. And I'm just gonna, actually, let me show you, I'm gonna get the two. There we 
Cool. I will put it right here. And now I'm not gonna use a dial indicator um, to make it perpendicular to the table. Um, I'm gonna just use my eyes. And I like to do that by aligning the piece with the T-slots. And here you can see, around here, you can see a line of bright white table. And I want to make it so that it's even on the whole length. And I guess that's gonna make me easily within half a millimeter. And that's just easily enough for a job like this. No need for dial indicating. Okay, now I'm gonna secure the tube to the table and start using the slitting saw.